What's going on guys and girls? It, what's, can't, you can't see me anywhere. This box is so freaking huge. What's going on guys and girls? It's Ghost Robo and this is the Halo 5. It's called the Collector's Edition, but I think it should be called the Humongous Edition. I don't know if a box has ever been this big. The Titanfall Collector's Edition was massive. The Halo Reach Collector's Edition was massive. This one, like, the combination of weight and size is just super freaking huge. And as you can see by the sticker on the top, also super freaking expensive. Uh, and that lets you know that I bought this with my own money. I like Halo 5 so much. I've been enjoying it so much that I wanted to get the Collector's Edition. And also I wanted to get the developers some of my, uh, my hard-earned money to reward them and thank them for making a freaking awesome game. That one is... It's super so far. If you haven't been watching my walkthrough multiplayer, you got to check it out because it may be the best that Halo's ever been. And that sounds crazy knowing that 343 is working on it. But I'm telling you, everybody I've talked to is in love with it and so am I. So let's see if we can fall in love with the Collector's Edition as well. This is a big old box and it's already giving me a paper cut. So Halo 5 uh, Collector's Edition 1, Ghost Robo 0. Now let's hope that we can get it back with some great awesome stuff inside here. And um, we'll pull off this first. Ugh, trying to bring you guys new Halo 5 stuff every single day. If you guys are enjoying that and want more Halo 5, just hit that thumbs up button. Don't give yourself a paper cut when you do it though. Make sure that your, your keyboard is friendly. This box is not so friendly. I got the second to last one in my town. I didn't even know these things were out. Uh, strangely enough, the game comes out next week, but the Collector's Edition, I guess, released today. Uh, it comes with a digital code that you'll be able to use to unlock the game when it actually releases. But for whatever reason, they distributed these extra early, and I had no clue that was happening. I just expected I would get one next week. And so as soon as I saw that they were out, I was like, oh my god, I checked Walmart, Target, Best Buy, all the different stores in my area, and only one GameStop had two left. So luckily, uh, I was able to go and get it. Actually, I had my mom run and get it, because she was already out, and I was like, we got to get this fast before it's gone. It reminded me of uh, the old days before I could drive, and I'd be like, mom, I need such and such game. Uh, we've got lovely little things here to open up. And you know it's fall season when you get giant boxes. This lets you know that like the collector's editions are coming in hard. Because throughout the year I've gotten some collector's editions. Not a whole lot. I'm not the biggest fan of collector's editions. Only for games that I really know I'm going to really love. Or that I do really love. Like from franchises uh, that I, I super, super enjoy. Um, anyhow, but yeah, when you get to this time of the year, you get into like the Octobers, Novembers, you know like, alright, the ante has been upped. The box size has boomed. You know, they save, uh, they give birth to the biggest, best boxes when it counts most, which is fall. Success! We got these two things off, we can get the tape off my fingers, and now we can open it up. It's a top full box. So I'm guessing I need to like lay it on my lap this way. We're gonna get like a side view, which I hardly ever do. All right, so first things first. Halo 5 is the realest. Uh, we've got a giant steel book that has the UNSC insignia on it. Uh, and in here is a lot of stuff. So there's the limited edition content, Halo 5 Guardians content. So in here, um, there's a code for uh, Halo The Fall of Reach animated series, a Warzone Rec bundle, um, and Halo 5 Guardians on the back. So I cannot show you this code, but what I can show you is this super sweet stuff. So there's the two controllers, which I will show you later in the video as well. I'm curious to see if the collector's edition is a better investment or the game plus controllers, because those controllers are sick and I'll show them to you. Uh, and then the two Astro headsets that are official uh, Halo 5 Guardians Astros. Um, a 14 day Xbox Live trial. Um, then in here there is, oh there's a whole bunch of stuff in here. This is a, uh, you are ordered to retrieve the following critical UNSC assets of value. Spartan Lock is designated lead acquisitions agent and chopped Opcon to Navlog.com for duration of operation. Oh, I think this is we're trying to go and get back, uh, yeah, I think this is to go get back um, Master Chief, because it says Spartan Logs authorized to use deadly force to limit further damage. I'm guessing that's what this is about. The asset list, yeah, it's four uh, Majolner armor sets, and they're operators and they're prowler, so it's gotta be that. So it's like a little like uh, mission briefing card there. And then we've got this special packet, which I don't know what's in there. Smells very spooky, so hopefully... Oh, ho, ho, ho. What in the world? Look at this shiny stuff. I guess I wasn't briefed on everything that was in here. Let's set this box down for a second. It's crushing everything in sight. I feel kind of bad, but what? What is this? Oh, I think I know what this is. It's like the metallic... Yes. Oh my goodness gracious. It's a 3D laser cut metal model um, 
I believe it's of a guardian? Anyhow, here are the instructions to build this thing. And as you can see, they are insanely complicated. Holy freaking crap, that's upside down. But nonetheless, even right side up, holy freaking crap, so many instructions. That would take me ages. And the pieces are so, they're so tiny. I don't know if you can see this, this is, it's really shiny. Um, but there's all these little pieces of detail. It's like, you're seeing my face through it. There you go. You can kind of see all the different pieces, the wing tips, all the stuff that we're going to bend out and like put together to build this guy. And like the tail piece on the edge there, it kind of looks like a chainsaw almost. That's kind of crazy. It's super cool. Um, and what it builds is, man, this is a thick steel book. It's like a steel case. I thought maybe it was going to come with every copy of Halo magically, even though I knew that's not a thing. So what this is, is on the bottom, you can see it makes this statue, this metallic statue, and it ends up looking super sweet. I hope I have the patience and the finger dexterity to make that happen, because it looks freaking hard, but super cool. All right, let's dig into our special pamphlet here. On the back it says Jameson Locke, which is not my name, but I'm going to open it for him since he can't be here today. Uh, let's see. It's got a nice seal. It's like cool packaging. I love all this different stuff. Like That's part of the fun is just opening it up, because you feel like you walked into this world uh, that you've never been a part of before. Um, and then here, oh, so these are all the cards. Okay. So here is, uh, and what's funny is on the back they have French, and then on the front they have English. So this is Jameson Locke, his whole biography. Um, they've got all of his stats, height, weight, uh, all that kind of stuff, eye color, whatnot. Um, home world, he's from Jericho 7. Birthday, March 15th, 2529. Uh, we've got a card for Buck here. So we're going through uh, Fire Team Osiris right now. We've got a card for Tanaka. Holly Tanaka is her name, Edward Buck, Holly Tanaka. She was born on uh, Manab. Buck was born on Draco 3. Val here, born on Louis 10. Uh, she was also born in the year 2536. Can we focus on Samus Jr. here? Give a little love for Sam. Doesn't she kind of look like Samus? A little bit. Little bit. Val. Um, and then we go to uh, Blue Team. So we've got uh, John Redacted, since nobody knows his last name there. Born in 2511. Is he the oldest guy in the game? Locke was what? Locke was 25, 29. He's 18 years older than Locke. So this is an old dude. Home planet Eridanus? Eridanus? Eridanus 2. Now we've got Frederick here. He was born in April of 2051. How would you say that? Not 2050. 2511, I guess. From Ballast, his home world. That's Frederick, one of the blue team guys. These are pretty cool little cards here. Um, Linda, who is uh, from Varent in 2511. A lot of 2511 people here. She's pretty sweet. And then Kelly, uh, born in 2510 from Ember. So there's Kelly, looking good in blue. Uh, and that is all that's in this sweet green package. I almost like the green package most of all, just because it's really like, it feels space agey. Uh, so that's that. You get a digital copy. Um, I guess you could put all this stuff back in here, or if you get like a physical copy of the game you could put in here, or a bunch of discs, or you just have this like chunky steel book sitting there like I'm part of the UNSC. Alright, now we're going to take off the huge styrofoam blocks, which I never know what I do to do with these things. They're so, they're massive and they're stinky. Uh, and this is the, the, the grand finale piece. This is the big thing, the reason you buy this collector's edition is for this super sexy statue here. Um, it's a base. Two characters, I'm sure you can guess who it is. I'm going to wiggle them free, and they are pretty darn awesome. So first, we'll reveal them one at a time, because this is a big statue, and it's pretty sweet and very detailed. We've got Master Chief here, looking very awesome, and it is a pretty darn good replica of Chief. Lots of detail. You can see if we do a 360 spin here, he's got, like, armor wear and different marks, decals all over. Uh, even the visor is colored and cool, and then it's got this big archway here. So we'll uh, move some of the UNSC gear and set him down right there. Then the other half, as I'm sure you could guess, uh, is Locke. Jameson here, um, looking fierce. I really love Locke. I love his character design. I love his human model as well. I think it's like the most realistic looking character in the game uh, in terms of like true to life. And you can see that he's looking pretty freaking awesome as well with his gun poison, right? And there's like sand down here on the base. Um, he's standing on like a broken like log or like some sort of treasure chest or something almost. Uh, and I'm guessing that these two go together. So... If we complete the archway, it's just like secretly a, an ad for McDonald's now. Um, they go together here, and is there more pieces? No? Let me see. It smells so much like styrofoam in my face. It's like a styrofoam smoothie. Ugh. Imagine how gross that would be. Uh, I don't think there's anything else. Okay, so 
they do click together somehow. No, maybe not. Just go like this. There. Okay. So chief and lock. You look at the picture. Commemorative statue. Yeah, it's two pieces. So I guess you could use them as like bookends or at the side of your desk or like this way and this way if you wanted them to go back to back. Or you could have them just be uh, the way that they're supposed to be. There's my tape is on the ground. What? Um, so this is what they're. Oh, it's magnetic. Sick. So they don't even have to click in place. They're magnetic. And now I feel like I'm. Uh, the box is so big. The statue's so big. There it is. That's pretty cool. Like if you're a Halo fan, especially Halo Five, the fact that you've got these two guys, it almost looks like they're working together. I hope that's not a spoiler for the game. Because uh, they're supposed to be angry. At least Log is supposed to be angry at Chief. But that's the statue. Looking pretty darn awesome. I really like it. It's big. Um, in comparison, uh, like this is the Big Daddy from the Bioshock Colors Edition. And as you can see, like if we compare him to Chief, and this was like a sizable figure at the time when Bioshock released, he ain't got nothing on Chiefy. Look at that. Like this is a good, nice, detailed figure, and Chief is huge. Um, so that's a really nice thing uh, that they made the statue so dang big. Um, I'll even show you. Let me grab it real quick. Um, I've got the Dark Souls 2 Collector's Edition statue up here, and I thought this was a... Ah! Making messes! Uh, I thought this was a big statue, and we'll compare it to Locke, who's crouching. Um, and he's... I guess he is a big statue. He's about as tall as crouched Locke. Let's see how he compares to Chief over on this side. Um, yeah, they're about the same height-ish, so a very nice figure, because this is a big figure. If you've seen the Dark Souls 2 Collector's Edition from... Uh, a while back, like this is pretty big. Um, but just giving you guys a little scope and scale that Chief and Locke are pretty darn large. Um, I really like it. This is obviously the pride and joy of the package. Now, $250 is a lot. You're looking at an extra 190 bucks on top of, I think I hit the camera thing, there we go. An extra 190 bucks on top of the, like, the retail price of just the game. Um, this metal figure, if you're into building metal and don't think you're gonna cut yourself horribly, which I'm a little bit worried about, you get this sweet model, like we showed you, uh, that, will end up looking pretty cool. I don't know how big it is. It doesn't look like it could be that big. In theory, if we think about these pieces, like the tail, I'm guessing it's probably like, you know, a smaller little thing, but still it could be very cool and look awesome. It doesn't bear any color. Um, so I don't know if you'll recognize it as a Halo item, which is the part that kind of makes me worried. So basically it's Steelbook, uh, the cards representing the two teams, um, sort of the mission uh, protocol, mission briefing, uh, and then the DLC. Now. I'm not exactly sure what all the DLC has in it, um, but I think it's like some extra, it's probably some extra gear um, and then extra rec packs. It's so weird to me that they made Halo Team this time. I mean, I, I think that's a fair rating for sure, but it just looks weird on the front of the box. Anyways, so I don't know. Um, I might suggest to you that you grab one of these or both of these controllers instead. If you're gonna be playing Halo 5 a lot, it might be more fun to have something that you actually use uh, every time you play the game. These controllers are the limited edition controllers. They're $70 each, which is still a lot. But if you get one of them plus the game, that's $130. And if you even got the other one, that's only $200. I mean, it's still a crap ton of money. But if you're looking to spend the collector's edition $250, I might suggest getting the game and then two controllers, and then you'd have $50 saved, uh, and even more, basically, because of tax. Uh, these are so super cool. They've got, like, metallic blue on them, metallic strips through the controller for locks, and including texture, um, and then Chief's controller uh, has golden D-pad, golden triggers, more texture down here, and some really cool like uh, non-colored buttons with little color indicators. The sticks are military green. I like both of them. They're both so cool. This controller, I thought this was my favorite at first because of the blue strips, and that's what I said in my controller unboxing video, but I think I'm leaning now towards the Chief one just because that gold is so sexy. It's so cool, and especially on the triggers, it's awesome. I don't want to take anything away from the statue. The statue is incredible. This is one of, if not the best statue, probably the best statue I've ever gotten in a collector's edition. The Geralt uh, one from Witcher 3 is really cool, but I ended up not being a big fan of that game, so I don't really care about a statue of him you know, bloody and a griffin up. This one, though, I really like Halo, and the fact that it's magnetic, the fact that it has the two primary characters, the fact that it has also, like, environment stuff with it, like the archway, the sand, I don't know, that means a lot to me and, like, sets the scene a little bit better than if it's just, like, a character and an enemy or two characters or just, like, bleh, a, a statue. Um, it doesn't magnetize enough for you to, like, hold one end. Like, they magnetize together, but you do need to hold it together on a desk or whatnot. It's not going to fall apart, but just so you know, you can't, like, balance it this way. Uh, all in all, I think it's a pretty cool Claire's Edition. My favorite Halo Colors Edition is the one that I believe was for Reach, uh, where you got the, the Halsey's journal. It was like a real journal that you flipped through. I thought that was epically cool. So awesome. It really felt like you got a prop from the game. Um, whereas this feels like, you know, a, a, a fan 
commemorative statue. Uh, I like the idea of actually getting something from the world. Like, Halsey's Journal, that was such a sick idea. Uh, but I think people who are super into Halo will, will enjoy this. It gives you something to do as well, build this up, which probably ends up looking really sweet. Um, and then you do get some of the extra goodies. Uh, you get the game, you get rec packs, uh, and you get the Fall of Reach animated series, which is, is an extra cost. I mean, if that's something uh, that you're interested in, you want to see that as well. Um, so all in all, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Would you rather have the Halo 5 Clarity Edition or the controllers in the game? That's what I want to know from you in the comments. I'm curious to see. I think I would probably prefer to have the controllers just because I could use them every time I play as opposed to just sitting the stuff on my shelf. But all in all, I'd probably give it... The statue is so cool. I think I'd give it about like a, an 8 out of 10 for the Clarity Edition. 7.5, 8 out of 10. I would like to see more like lore based stuff in the, the package uh, to go along with the statue since it is 250 but I guess they're, they're costing they're, they're giving a lot of the cost and a lot of the charge uh, for these statues because they are nice they are very detailed and they are very big and it's it's a pretty cool piece like I can't deny that this is really freaking awesome so that's a big review of the Halo 5 collector edition the biggest Halo 5 package you can get. There's also a limited edition Xbox One bundle coming out uh, that is a terabyte console plus Halo 5, uh, but obviously you don't get any of the extras there, the steel book or any of that stuff. So lots of options for how you can buy Halo, but one good thing to know is that no matter which way you buy it, the game is great and the DLC, uh, the maps and the modes and stuff are going to be free for the first year, which is fan freaking fantastic Great move uh, by the guys over at 343 and Microsoft. It's an amazing game. Hope you get to play it yourselves. Make sure to check out my videos on my channel. I've already got a lot of the walkthrough up, some multiplayer as well, and we'll be moving right along with more of that as we approach launch. So that's going to do it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you did. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a fantastic day. Thanks a lot for all your support on Halo 5 and all of my other videos. Hope to see you around on some of them soon. Until that time, though, drink so much. Thanks again. We will see you all later.